Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here at Novara Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. It is day 77 for EDSS in the Realm Reborn, and his second day as a Marauder, and if all goes well, this will be his last day as a Marauder, because, yeah, we didn't need to stay as a Marauder f for long, because all we really needed to do was get to experience level 15, but I just wanted to take today, on day 77, to show off the two challenges at level 10 and level 15 that are available to the Marauder before we start taking the path over to becoming the enhanced warrior class that the Lancer can obtain, because this was the only way you could do it. You could only get to this point by becoming a level 15 Marauder. So, as it stands right now, let's go to Guildmaster Wernzwen of the Marauder's Guild, and let's take his level 10 challenge entitled Wake of Destruction. Wern's one wishes to speak with you regarding your ongoing training. Edie, I have gathered what information I could concerning the beast that young Sigurd bade you slay. This tales, the tales named this creature Kujata. Those who have witnessed Kujata in the terrifying flesh also call him the Stampeding Mountain, such as his immense size and bulk. Again, I will not seek to dissuade you from claiming vengeance for the boy's parents. In fact, I encourage it. But, to topple this lumbering colossus, you must first become his equal in strength and ferocity. As a single step toward that distant goal, I send you to the Blind Iron Mines. We have word that folk are falling prey to the claws of the local Galagos. It is your task to protect the weak from these unruly creatures. Learn to channel the rage inside you, and let your axe blade sling... In Sling. Let your axe blade sing in righteous slaughter. Yeah, it's amazing how words can just... Two words that have the same lettering can become pretty much handing off to each other. So I want to check my duty finder to see where exactly we're going. Actually, I think I do. Um, we want to go to Lower Lano Say I... or do... Or do we? No, no, I think it is middle Lano Sam because, yeah, the bl the blind iron mines can be accessed from one of two points. And actually, there one can ac be accessed from middle, one can be accessed from lower Lano Sea. We'll see what they rule us on. No, they do want us to go lower Lano Sea. Well, it's not that far. It's not that far. We can just run my chocobo over there, and we can get ourselves into Lower Lano Sea because, yeah, the the Blind Iron Mines are essentially a border between Middle and Lower Lano Sea, so it's not really that big of an issue. So all we have to do is just run over to where it is, and we can continue on. So yeah, um, to get to level 15, I've been pretty much focusing primarily on doing, um, completing the level 2 hunting log for the Marauders Guild, and I have completed that, and also taking on various fates. Those helped me to get to this higher experience level as well, as well as taking on guild hests. Alright, so, the Galagos we're looking for, well, okay, yeah, they're actually just outside the Blind Iron Mines. Very well. Then we shall go over here and slay three of them. Yeah, this won't be too difficult. I mean, I've already pretty much built up my um, weapons and armor. I have a stronger axe and stronger armor. All meant specifically for the Marauder. And also for the other tank class, which is the Gladiator. So there it is. There's three Galagos gone. Alright, back to Limsalaminsa then. Yeah, it didn't take long to complete this first part, but we'll see how long it takes us to complete the second part of this challenge. Because obviously, if we're going back to the Guildmaster this quickly, then obviously he has more for us to do. This, this has happened before back in the level 5 challenge where it was two parts, where we do take care of the task, then go back to the Guildmaster, then take care of another task, and then go back to the Guildmaster again. So, Marauder's Guild. Yeah, we... I don't think this will take us long. Because, yeah, the purpose of Day 77 is primarily to take on the level 10 and 15 Marauder's Guild challenges. 
Right, back here. Let's speak with the Guildmaster and let him know what we've accomplished. Oops, sorry, soldiers. <laughs> Welcome back, Edie. Your actions have saved many from needless injury and anguish. But though your efforts are to be commended, there is yet much work to be done. Gujata, the object of your vengeance, has trampled a farmer's wagon as he thundered through the lands of Tiller's Rest. The foodstuffs spilled from the overturned wain have attracted all manner of hungry predators. Without produce for the market, the farmers will surely suffer for corn this season. Your duty is thus clear. Put down these rapacious scavengers and preserve the cargo. And thank you, Agito Terandian, for putting some clothes back on. <laughs> Alright, so... Where would we find this particular task? Middle Lanosea. Alright, so yeah, now we go to Middle Lanosea correctly. Yeah, so, yeah, it was Lower Lanosea for the first part of the task, and Middle Lanosea for the second part of the task. But it's alright. Because, yeah, I've only gone through this once before, so, trial and error and all that. Alright, back on my chocobo. And where are we going? A oh, bit of this bit of distance. Not much, but yeah, there is a bit of distance. So Ah, looking forward to taking on this challenge and then proceeding to take on the level fifteen. And I have not pointed this out yet, but over here, if you see those red banners, that's where another Aetherite crystal can be found. Yeah, right, right where those red banners are. You can take an Aetherite crystal, and it's like um, in Central Lanosea, where the Chocobo Ranch is. Um, Bent Branch Meadows. Um, further, further north. And let's cross the bridge. And so it should be over here. Yeah, here it is, the overturned wane. And it's definitely smoking, which means we know what we're gonna do. And we can pretty much expect what's gonna happen. We got an enemy in play. Where are they? Over here. A plane strider. Yeah, this looks a lot like an anole. And now here comes some more. Yeah, they're gonna keep coming, I guess, in waves. One at a time, two at a time, maybe even three at a time. So let's take you fools out. Get ready again and be done with it. Alright, next. And now we're to level 11, Plane Strider. Yeah, you keep taking the hits there, Lanza. Alright, that one's dead. Now we've got it. Now back to Limsalaminsa. Yeah, so four of them had to be slayed in order for us to advance. And so now that we have. We have completed the level 10 challenge for the Marauders Guild. And so now all we have to do is report to the Guildmaster and immediately proceed to take on level the level 15 challenge. So we'll see what we can do with that one. Back to the Marauders Guild. So... Yeah, that level 10 wasn't all that hard, of course, we're over, we were essentially over-leveled since I was at level 15. So, let's speak with the Guildmaster and let him know what we've done. Once again, your capacity for carnage has been tested and proven. The creatures you defeated, however, were merely some of the many base scavengers that subsist on the scraps left in the wake of Kujata's rampages. To face Kujata himself, you yet require far more training, but do not despair, Edie. As Axe Master and fellow Marauder, this I swear. I will not rest until I have taught you how to wring every last ounce of power from your weapon, until the blade of your axe can slice cleanly through the thickest hide, the most knotted muscle, the densest bone. This menace will fall by your hand. Well, 
Not for the purposes that I'm doing, but thank you for offering, though. So, since I have stuff that's all better than what's currently available, I will be taking 200 gil from the Guildmaster. And we'll put C to do our last challenge in this playthrough of this game for the Guildmaster of the Marauders Guild by taking on his level 15 challenge entitled Brutal Strength. Axemaster Wurmswen has a new task for you to undertake. I see how you have been diligent in your training. You need not tell me in words, it shows in your bearing, in your unwavering gaze. It is time for you to once more lift your axe in service to the guild. There have been reports of a sizable creature roaming the outskirts of Airport in western Lionel Sea. This monster is no Kujata, but the threat it presents to the locals is nonetheless sufficient to warrant our attention. It should also prove a worthy foe to test your burgeoning prowess. How to find this beast? Well, I am fortunate enough to count among my acquaintances a veteran hunter and archer by the name of Renfred. He took up residence in Airport some years ago and will gladly aid you in this task. With Renfred's assistance, you will to track down this prowling danger and provide its swift and bloody passage to the afterlife. May your axe swing true. And so with that, since we know we have to go to Airport and we have to um, warp there, I'll meet you guys over in Airport in a moment, so be right back. Okay, back at Aleport now. We haven't been here for a while. Let's go over and find Renfred. And make sure we're going the correct direction to find him. Yeah, we have to make sure that we are at least doing that. Let's put a bit of a spring in my step to get to this guy. Because I do believe he may be in this building, if I remember this correctly. Yes, there he is, Renfred. Oh, quite the stout archer, and rather tall as well. What a one's one's boys are you? Well, I've known that sprat since he was knee-high to a... Well, he was, was kind of a big fellow, was one's one. And now they call him Axemaster, eh? Not a subtle lot, you marauders. So I suppose you're here to hunt down our local trouble. What you need to do, then, is take yourself northwest up towards Camp Skull Valley and give a good whistle. The main bug are you after, his name's Pap... Patripatan. Patripatan. Yeah, there we go. Patripatan. By the by, we'll come running across the weeded plains. He'll think you're trespassing on his territory, see? So you better have that cleaver of yours ready. Oshan's blessings be upon ye. Well, wouldn't you know it, that's who's on my horoscope, so... Yeah, that works out, doesn't it? Yeah, those who follow my game from the beginning will know that... To coincide with the fact that the last day of my high school 75th anniversary, which served as the inspiration for this Let's Play, was in June, and of course it still is June when this video goes up, they'll know that Alshon was the sixth choice in the horoscope for my avatar, so that's what I went with. So, off to the west we go, towards the icon. Here's our destination right here. Um, it doesn't look like we'll have to fight that off. Let's just get in here and whistle. Where's our foe? Where is our foe? Ooh, in front of me. Yeah, a giant curl. A big cat with massive whiskers. So let's get rid of him quickly before he lays waste to me. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. Be just fine. In fact, this is almost over, and it is. <laughs> yeah, all there is to it, right? <laughs> yeah, too bad the archer didn't come and help me out, but you know what? That's okay. Um, back over then to Limsalaminsa, I guess. Yeah, we should have known this is gonna come in two parts. Yeah, that's right, these challenges have all been in two parts, so. Yeah, we gotta make sure that everything is being done right. Or else there's no way we can <laughs> move on, as it were. But, returning to Limsalaminsa. And then returning to the Marauder's Guild. <laughs> ah, Marauder's Guild, why could you not be on the lower decks when I arrive in Limsalaminsa, huh? Why do you have to be on the upper decks? 
Why must you make me warp twice to get to you? <laughs> uh, and it looks like this young lady has not left her position. I'm sure that, um... Oh, who are those guys? Um... Oh, no, no, that that was the name of the, the group. All right, Warren's one. I've been in contact with Renford Edie, -E, and he has no praise for you. Your representation of the guild has been exemplary. There is one more task I would have you to complete this day. A task that will demonstrate for you just how strong you've become. Report to Skafgim, where he awaits on the banks of the Ageless River, and he shall help you unveil the untapped power of your axe. And... Okay, it says Middle Lano Say it. Well, Middle Lano Say it is. Yeah, a quick trip to the west. And as the sun sets on Limsalaminsa, we now make our way back to Middle Lanosea. And so, one more task, I guess, to take care of everything we need to do with the Marauders Guild. And once we've completed this, and when we speak with Guildmaster Wernswen, there's really nothing for, further for us to do with the Marauders Guild. We could keep going to level 30 if we wanted to, but of course, the purpose was to get to level 15. Because that's what you're forced to do when you are t attempting to get an advanced warrior or magic class. You must take at least level 15 of a second class. Can I cross over here? Well, it looks like I can. And hey, you gotta admit, this ain't all that bad of a waterfall. That's pretty nice, actually. Alright, here's Skafgim. And... Nope, this is a guy. <laughs> I was trying to figure it out, but yeah, this is a guy. I lad, I know why you're here. And after seeing this big old boulder, I wager you know why you're here too. Now, my rock's a bit more of a challenge than those pedables Rockgeim had you training on. Your swing must needs be brutal to crack this beauty. Impossible, you say? Ha! <laughs> Worms wouldn't, wouldn't send you out here if he didn't think you capable. Yes, yeah, so we gotta use the ability Brutal Swing, and Brutal Swing only, to lay waste to this thing. So, hit it! Boom! It's gone! <laughs> Just like that. Scout Ha! <laughs> Would you look at that! I'm on your first attempt, too. Well, I guess it's back to the Ox Monster for you. And so away he goes. Yeah, that was easy enough, wasn't it? But did you have to drag me all the way out here? I mean, isn't this something that I could have done in the confines, in the beautiful confines of Limsalaminsa? I mean, seriously, I'm sure that there are, like, massive things that are in people's way that they need someone like a Marauder to get rid of and destroy. I'm just putting that out there, but I would imagine that would make sense to a point, am I right? So back to Limsalaminsa. Yeah, we're going out with a quite the flurry, one big massive brutal swing of the axe to level the boulder and complete our tasks with the Marauders Guild. Yeah, it only took us two days to get the job done. And soon we will be finished with this, and we can continue on. Oops, yeah, I don't want to get on my chocobo, I just want to speak with the Guildmaster. And let him know that we have succeeded in the task. <laughs> and he's certainly happy about it. I knew you would return here before long. The deafening crack of shouting boulder reached me even here. The feat of strength is of us recognition, and you shall have it in the form of a new technique. Adopted and perfected by our guild forebearers, the tomahawk throw was first devised by pirates as an opening attack on closing enemy vessels. And so now it's bestowed upon me. Not that I'll need to use it. Though we primarily focus on close quarters combat, you will no doubt find that having a powerful ranged strike at your disposal greatly expands your tactical versatility. I sense that the impending confrontation with Kujata weighs heavily on your mind, Edie, even though it doesn't. But hurried swings lead to glancing blows. There is no swift road to attaining the peak of mastery you seek, only a steady, measured ascent. Well, it only took me two days to get the job done here. So, yeah, well, obviously that's a mandatory item. Is there anything else I could take of interest? No. 
will typically take 500 gil from Guildmaster Wounds when and bid him adieu. And so, yeah, that is it. We obtained the Tomahawk ability. And now that we have obtained that, it's time for us to head on out. And leave the Marauders Guild. If I ever come back here, it'll obviously be done off camera. I, I, I might show the challenges if I ever choose to do bonus content for this game, but because of the fact that you have to do paid subscription for a certain period of time, I don't know if this is necessarily something that I will ever come back and show off. If I do, it may happen with my other avatar, but we'll, we'll see where we go from here. So, as it stands right now, the thing for me to do is to make a, path a passage to go to, um, I want to go to, yeah, I might as well just run straight down to see, um, if there's anything further that I can do at this time with Maelstrom, because I think I have a few items that I'd like to g give off to them, that I would like to give to them, so we'll see what we can accomplish. Yeah, because th this video hasn't been all that long anyway. So, we might as well go over to Maelstrom and see what they have, because, yeah, I'm at level 44 with my... I'm at level 44 with the Lancer, so there should be no reason why I cannot make it a point. Well, I might as well add the Iron War Axe to his repertoire for a Marauder, but of course, we're not coming back to this. No, we are going back to... We're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're doing this. A actually, specifically, I want to go back to Lancer set 33, because that's my Maelstrom uniform. So let's go over. Yeah, we can take a task from the Storm Lieutenant. And since we are at level 44, at least, we now have the option to speak with Storm Commander Ashat Riki. And, she, oh, she has two options. Shadows Uncast, which is one I want, and They Came From The Deep. Okay, well, I know what They Came From The Deep is, so we'll save that for another time. Shadows Uncast, this is one I want. Level 44 for the, for the warrior class or magic class that you choose, entitled Shadows Uncast. Rashad Riki has a special assignment for you. Sergeant Tessess, do the Maelstrom proud as ever I see? As a matter of fact, you're just the man I was hoping would come along. House the mail of Ishgard is in some distress, and you're just the one we need to answer the call. What? Kethas actually wants me to uh, help them? That's actually quite surprising. Your travel, your, your task, travel to Zermel Darkhold and push the subterranean fortress of Void Sense. Once you're ready, make your way to the central highlands of Kethas. I trust you have little trouble finding the Darkhold. Ophelia, a retainer in service of House Samel, will brief you in greater detail when you arrive. We await word of your success! So yeah, all you really have to do is warp to Camp Dragonhead, and once you're there, make it a point to go to where Zamel Darkhold is. I've already been there before um, through doing a separate challenge. There was one that was offered earlier called Fort of Fear. I mentioned this before that this particular um, location can be accessed one of two ways. One is through the regular quest, the regular side quest, and the other is through the grand company that you choose. So, we have returned to Carthus. And we have to go south to get to where we need to go. So, on my chocobo and we're off. Away we go to Zamel Darkhold. And we'll see what Hofili will have for us. Yeah, I never I never did get rid of my um Chocobo's witch outfit, but it you know what, it's okay. Uh, I'll I, I'm gonna be switching it eventually with something else anyway, so I guess I might as well just leave it on him. So, you know, the, where we need to go is actually closer to the Observatorium than it is to Camp Dragon... to Camp Dragonhead. 
Yeah, I was about to call it Camp Dragon Fire, but that's not what it's called. <laughs> and this is something we can take on after we start taking on the elevated warrior class training. Because we're actually 15 levels ahead of it. So now, off to the west. We'll pass the Snow Wolf Pups and the Goobu. Oh, this pup wants to play? Well, unfortunately, I don't have time for you. Unfortunately, I have no time to play, little Wolfie. Yeah, we want to go across the river here. And in some instances, walk on it. So, yes, this is where we want to go. Here's the person of interest right here, Ophili. And this is a female, I can tell. What? Who goes there? Oh, you must be the reinforcements. I beg your pardon. Recent sights have let me skittish as an ancient chocobo. Zemel Darkhold. The name itself sends a shiver up the spine, does it not? Well, if you got dark in the name, then obviously it is. The place has been infested by all manner of fearsome void scent of late. Why have even held brother statues come to life? While we Ishgardians pride ourselves on seeing to our own defenses, the threat this time is simply too great. Yeah, which is obviously why you summon us. You'll see to those abominations, won't you? And so yeah, you can now use the duty finder to access some old dark hold. In fact, the portal's right over there. Um, but of course, that's not why we're here. The main purpose of being here was simply to have this quest available for us. We'll take it on as we continue on in the main Let's Play. But for now, our task now takes us back to New Gridania. And the reason we're going back to New Gridania is because in the start of the next episode, we will begin the necessary process for beginning to go to the Advanced Warrior class. We already are two days into it, but now we can truly get started with it. Because, yeah, the first two days were to complete the basic requirements to do so, which was to become a level 15 Marauder. And now that we've done that, we can now make our way over to the Lancers Guild, and over to Old Gridania. And it's there where we can discover what the Guildmaster Yuwain wants us to do for him. And so, back we come. Back to the Lancers Guild for the first time since day 57. So we just make the cur make the curve, and so now the Guildmaster is ready for us to take his next challenge. And this will be the last through him. It well and truly is the last challenge available through Guildmaster Wayne. It starts here in Gridania and the Black Shroud, but it doesn't end here. Because of course, we know it's coming next. So, at this point, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. And when I join you again, we will speak with Guildmaster Wayne and truly begin the training to take on the Advanced Warrior class for the Lancer. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.